How to draw butterface anime girls. As humans, we have an idea of facial balance that looks good based on eye, nose, mouth positioning, etc. So, a good way to draw ugly people is to mess with this balance. To draw yet ugly anime girls, maintain the facial balance while using unconventional face parts. The easiest parts to mess with. 1. Eyebrow shape. 2. Eye shape. 3. Lip thickness. Japanese authors don't like full lips very much, but they can be sexy. Harder parts to mess with. 4. Distance between brow and eye. When brow and eye are close, it looks manly. 5. Mouth width size. Large mouths can look manly. 6. Jaw shape. If the jaw is too round, it looks fat. If the jaw is too square, it looks manly. By combining non-cute facial features but maintaining the balance of the face parts, we can design girl characters that aren't just anime agu. Thick brows plus glasses plus freckles plus birthmark. Okay, this isn't a butterface, but you get the idea. Making the nose prominent can immediately make a character distinct, because anime styles try to minimize the nose. But some viewers may find noses un <laughs> So use caution. Tsugashi, do your job. But really, the best way to differentiate anime character design is always hair. Give everyone a different hairstyle. Fluffy, punk. I think these hairs are un <laughs> but you may not. Wide open eyes can be very creepy, but that won't stop the Kumas. Thin eyes are often used for the Kitsune face archetype, or Ara Ara Milfs, eyes fully closed. <laughs> Grouchy face girls are still hot, e.g. Kanamori Aizoken. Anime style will often register drawing noses or lips as black or Latin. Don't get cancelled! Of course, if you don't care about f ability, just slap some b on her and call it a day. I'm a milf too!